there's a lot of problems that can go wrong with drop shipping. And I do maybe like out of every sale. How are you, man? Where are you from? Uh, Michigan. Nice. America, Michigan. So. Nice, man. Bro, you look like really different on Twitter profile. And then on like video. Yeah, I got the whole Bro, the beard and, I, and the hat. You look like really young in the Twitter photos. <laughs> How old are you? I do, I know. How old are you? About 20. 20, bro? Bro, I know, you... I look, I look like, like, like bro okay, with, with the beard, you look like much different. I know, everyone tells me that. Bro, is there a way like we can put the volume a bit up? Maybe like, if I bring you closer. Maybe this I'm way. trying to because I, I can get closer, but then I have to have my camera like this. Yeah, okay, keep, keep it like further, keep it further. I will hear you, I will hear you. I brought, my, I brought mine closer so I can hear you. So, I mean, I can have the camera like this, but then you're crooked, so I don't know if this is good. No, turn it the way that it was before. I, I will talk also like lower so I can hear you. So, are you ready? Take yourself talk. down. It's like, ah, I'm too tall for this chair. <laughs> yeah. Man, how tall you are you? I'm six foot three. Damn. So, Damn, that's that's kind of tall. Not not NBA height, but like that's kind of that's kind of tall. It'd be like a point guard NBA, so small small NBA player. <laughs> so first of all, do an introduction of yourself, who you are, how you guess, what, what you do, like, and stuff. Your journey. Yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. Yeah. You want me to just. Yeah. Tell people what I do. Yeah, whatever you All want. Right, awesome. Yeah, so um, I flip random items. I started off buying stuff that like um, online on Facebook and whatnot. I'll buy, you know, let's see if I have something laying around here. Just something random like I'd buy like a, a hat for like a dollar and I'll sell it online for like $20. Um, I did that, kept reinvesting my money, eventually scaled up bigger mm -hmm. items. So now I'll buy mm -hmm. items um, wholesale. Um, from different websites and flip it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So I, I do that full time. So I buy items wholesale, um, online, different websites, and I sell them for more money on Amazon. So how, how, how did you get started with this, with this resale? Honestly, I, yeah, no, no, no. I actually been doing this for eight years now. Um, when I was a kid, I wanted, yeah, I wanted a uh, a book set, and I didn't have money, and um, my dad let me use his eBay account. I sold a Lego I had, and I'll got a lot of money for it and I was like wow someone's gonna pay for my old toy that's crazy um yeah and then I would just go with friends to garage sales and um, mm -hmm. goodwills and thrift stores buy stuff and then mm -hmm. sell it for more online so that's Whoa. how I got started man like so like uh, how are you finding it? is there a way like you can scale this out like how I find the items oh no I mean like you can grow your business I mean like you can yeah, hire more people so you can scale it. Yeah, yeah, how I scale it. So really, um, I don't really do much of the garage sale stuff now. I buy mainly new items. Like um, I'll buy brand new Lego sets is a big one, brand new toys. Mm -hmm. And I will mail it to Amazon. And then when it sells, Amazon mails it out for me. It's called FBA, fulfillment by Amazon. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I'm actually looking at hiring an employee and getting a warehouse and the scalable part of it is, is just I keep reinvesting the profits right back into the company. So, so, so now take like, profits, yeah. buy more profits. Mm -hmm. so. so like now, like if I understood correctly, you're buying brand new Lego packs and you're reselling them on Amazon. Yep. Yep. So I'll buy them on uh, eBay or even like um, Walmart or stuff like that. And then, um, this is just one of the hundreds of items I sell, but Lego, will stop making that set and it's worth more because mm -hmm. um, they're not making more of them so there's less supply and then I'll sell it with more money. Um, also, mm -hmm. just random stuff I can buy in bulk like um, shampoo. I can maybe get it for like a dollar a bottle and it's sell for like two fifty three. It doesn't sound like a lot but when you sell two, three hundred bottles a day it adds up. So, so, yep, so in general you just flip stuff. You just buy like from the retailers or like if you see like yeah. some, uh, are you into sneakers? Yeah, I'm actually getting into sneakers and sneakers bots. I'm not big into it, but I have sold a lot on uh, 
eBay and uh, some on StockX, I'll buy some. But that's more just like a side hobby I do, and so for fun. Yeah, you, you're not looking to take that into full time. You're just getting into this right yeah, now. Yeah, no sneakers. I usually stay away from clothes. I'm more into home goods and toys and even food mm -hmm. products like that. So. So, so you buy like anything in general, like you can go on Alibaba, you go, you go like on Alibaba, like you buy stuff and you like flip it on Amazon. Yeah, you can, I don't do that, but I know people, I know what you're saying, yeah, you can do that. So basically I'll go on walmart.com, buy something from Walmart and then flip it on Amazon. Um, I'll find a wholesaler of, let's say, for example, this water. I'll contact them and then make a deal with them and buy 10,000 bottles or whatever and then sell it for more money online. Um, or I'll just, you know, like I said, I'll buy random stuff at Target, everything like that, just flip it for more money online and just keep growing and mm -hmm, growing mm -hmm. and growing and, with the products. And, so. and how, what are your thoughts in making this more scalable? I mean, like um, high, hiring more employees, how can you take this to the next level? What are you thinking? Yeah, yeah, I like to make it more scalable. Right now, it's, it's becoming too much just for me, so I'll have friends that help me out and whatnot. So I'm working on uh, getting a warehouse that I'll mm -hmm. have shipments dropped off to, like wholesale um, pallets dropped off to, and then I'll put labels on them and send it all to Amazon. So how I can make a scalable is, just, like I said, keep reinvesting my profits. So if I buy a thousand dollars worth of one item and I make, you know, let's say four hundred dollars profit, take that four hundred dollars and then with the thousand, of course, I got back and then reinvest it and keep buying it and growing it mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. sending more products to Amazon. So just really just keep reinvesting the profits. Yeah, but but what will your employees do? How will you how are you thinking about so, it? Yeah, for sure. So right now with Amazon FBA, every product I get, I have to put a sticker on it. I have to scan it in. Mm -hmm. Um I have to package it up a certain way and that takes a lot of time just for me doing, you know, two, three hundred products a day. I can have them working on that while I'm buying more products. I bring it back mm -hmm. to the warehouse. Mm -hmm. They're packaging it up for me. Um, I teach them, you know, how to mail it, how to log into the account, scan it in. So really, I go out buy products or I buy them online, and while I'm doing that, they're mailing them out for me. Yeah, that's nice. Like also, like what I'm thinking for the people that, that don't live in the U.S., which is like most of my channel. Like I tried, yeah, yeah, I your tried, TikTok, like, right? Tommy. Your TikTok channel, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm getting I'm getting more into these interviews. I break it down into con into like short pieces of clips and I post it on like everywhere, like Gary Vee does. You know, of course you know Gary Vee. Awesome. Right? Yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah, you know Gary Vee. And like I tried like selling some random stuff. I don't know, fucking glue, or, like this fucking Uno shit here that I have yeah, like yeah. it's fucking useless. We don't use. And like I, I looked up for the market market price in eBay on eBay, and I do, I think I did it I did it like in the correct way, correct category and stuff, but there's no traction. But like, I live in Cyprus. Do you know what Cyprus is? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, there, but like, is it, why isn't it selling? What do so, you think? I, I, see, I don't know, because I'm not big into international markets and I don't know like that, but you have, um, I'm sure, like Facebook marketplace and stuff, right? Yeah, but there's no, yeah, like, there's no lot of demand. Yeah, so it's like business all about supply and demand, so I'm sure there's something there that you see people using every day. Maybe it's a food product, maybe, you know, shampoo, maybe it's t-shirts. So really with me, it's finding something like my neighborhood right now, the big thing um, is pools. It's being super hot over here. Stores are out of pools. So I'll buy wholesale and I'll even sell those local. So it's really just looking around you, finding someone's problem and then giving a mm -hmm. solution to that problem. Mm -hmm. So, so, so the whole yeah. eBay thing, I'm not sure how big the market is there on the eBay. So, I mean, I mean, like, there's no like eBay for Cyprus. There's eBay.com, yeah. is like the US stuff, but like, there's no like regulation that people don't buy from other countries, right? It's just like the extra shipping. Yeah, and that'll be the big thing. The the shipping cost will be a lot of money. So mm -hmm. if someone could buy it mm -hmm. from here, the product may be like a dollar more, but they were buy it from you, it may be a lot to ship, so it's cheaper to buy it from somewhere else, you know. So I guess if you're trying to sell something, I would just try starting local, maybe buying from like um, Alibaba Express, finding an item on there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. getting it shipped to you, 
and then marking it local, I don't know, um, for the, your younger followers, I like guess, school or whatnot, when they go back to school, mm -hmm. or whatever it may be, or you know, your neighborhood is going door to door, buying yes. products and mm -hmm. trying to sell that. I mean, like, my, my, why I'm saying this is just like Gary Vee says that about sports cards that is getting too, too hot right now. And like, I want to say people that I'm in my country, my friends, my family, mem family members, to get into this. But for example, like, I bought Luca now, okay? And that's a 10 year run yeah. that he will run, that he will have. Hopefully he will have. He doesn't get injured. The, pr the, st the price of him, he will go up. I believe he will go up, like much more like higher. But then the problem is like, am I going to be able to sell it on eBay? Is it like I a restriction? It, yeah. this, is what I'm th this is what I'm thinking. I don't want so to see my family and stuff to put money in and then lose it. Yeah, you bought it from eBay, I'm guessing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm big into sports cards, whatever it's how. Um, you know, uh, Gary B put me in one of his chats, so I, it's pretty cool. I get to talk with him and a few other people. But, um, yeah, like I'm big in coming in Bob Boy and a bunch of other soccer players. Um, so for you, the market would be you're worried in how you're going to be able to sell it. I think eBay, you should be able to. I'd have to look. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but you can sell it on Twitter. It's huge for sports cards. You just got to build up the following and make uh, deals with people so more people trust you. Instagram is another one. Facebook's another one. Mm -hmm. um, you can all sell through there, and then you could do PayPal for your payments, so you both buyer and seller are protected. That way, you know, people know if they don't get the card, they have PayPal and whatnot. So maybe you can't sell it on eBay, but social media, um, definitely will be able to sell them on, because I personally believe soccer is going to be one of the biggest sports cards markets. That and basketball, I think soccer is getting a lot hotter, so yeah, those uh, are the two. A few things to, to yeah, say here before they leave my mind. Is one, there's an app called Stars. Ah, uh, fuck. I think I'm gonna say this wrong. Shit. Yeah. So, something with like, it's stocks for players. So you can buy like stocks for players. Yeah, have, you, have, have you heard of it? Stock, uh, StockX? Stock no. It's like, it's like when you buy stocks for companies, it's for players without actually having the card, without like spending money to be shipped to you, and then ship it back. So like oh, it's like yeah, stocks for players, it's like star stock or something. Yeah, checked out my cards.com, C O M C. I'm pretty sure it's called. You can buy it right on the website. Yeah. Um, and I think they're international. That'd be the best choice for you, actually. Yeah, for, for me, like an, for me, and like another people that are not in the U.S., it'd be like a good choice rather than eBay. But you think also like if the price is correct and the category is correct, I should be I should be able to sell on eBay. I mean, like the total price with the shipping. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, you think it would be fine? If, if, you build up, if you build up good feedback and, you know, the card's in good conditions, you have good photos and whatnot, someone's mm -hmm. going to buy mm -hmm. it from me. I buy stuff from Europe. I buy stuff from all over Asia. I buy stuff from China. Um, I just look at their feedback and, you know, if it's something I want because I know if I don't get it or something's wrong, eBay will protect me. But, yeah, definitely for someone, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure CMC is international. So, yeah, you can buy it on there. They hold the card. The card goes up. You can change your price. Um, so if I buy a card for a dollar, mm -hmm. then I could sell for 10 without even touching that. And I do that, you know, once or twice a day, I'll go in there, buy cards and then sell them in a week or a month and whatnot, or even a few months later when they triple and double the price. So, Oh, I know. I know who told me. He said, he said like, he does a sports cards. He does a sports content on TikTok. His name is Nick Crail. I don't know if you know him. Okay. He's really big on, I he's really not. big on TikTok. And the name of the app is called for the people of the following here that want to get into the sports card market, but they don't have the money. Let me check here. Let me check on my phone. Give me two minutes, guys. Because like a lot of people like are not in the US and like it is a very big thing that people can make easy money, especially if, if they're interested in stocks, you know, in like, in like in like sports and also like reselling. So we must find a way to them to like if, if, when they don't have a job, but they have some extra money so they don't know where to invest it. For, for example, like yeah, 100 sure. euros for stocks or like real estate is not a lot. So you better to put it like into flipping stuff. So we must find a way yeah. for people not in the US to find a way to make money. Oh yeah, it's called yeah, Star sure. Stock. Yeah. Star Stock is the, what it's called. I haven't heard of, was it Star Stock you said? Yes, yeah, Star, which is a star in the sky and a stock. Like stocks. Star Stock. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't heard of it so I can't give my... Uh personal um i'm looking it up right now um, yeah i'm here now also yeah it seems like it seems like another site like comc is the one i use check out my cards it seems like 
another site like that. It's great for people that, you know, can't mail stuff out or can't get stuff delivered. You buy it. It's mm-hmm. your card. They hold it in their warehouse, and then you can sell it for whatever price you Damn, want. Damn, man. So, this makes me so, so pumped. That's Bro, yeah, it's crazy. You know, I know some people that make like a few thousand bucks doing that a month. That's a lot of money. I make maybe $400 a month, but still, yeah, I don't touch a single product. So, Bro, honestly, um, for the audience saying, I'm honestly going to go more into sports cards, but like I have to like do my research about the star stock. Because like with eBay, I don't know, I've tried it, but I will keep trying with like some useless stuff that I have at my house. Keep trying to help people because that's the goal. People like need the money more than me. And like yeah. I would try my best to like help people possible that are not in the US. Because like some people don't have like 2000 to go to the US and don't want to leave the family to go garages and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So like next, next thing I want to ask you is like, let's go like more into rapid fire questions. Let's, let's do this, like some more fun questions. Okay, sure. Do you prefer to take revenge or forgive? Do I prefer to take revenge or forgive? Yeah. Forgive. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't have, I don't have time to uh, hate on people that that dislike me or hate me. So I don't have time for, for mm-hmm. that. So definitely mm-hmm. forgive. Yeah. Uh, are you happy? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean probably the happiest I've ever been in my life. Not even just to do with my business and you know that's going well, but definitely happy. What, what do you think makes you happy? What are some components? Oh goodness, probably well my religion, Christian being a Christian and God that makes me happy and my family, you know, friends. Um honestly my business makes me quite happy doing that. Like for me it's not even work. So mm-hmm. I do that, you know, mm-hmm. 10, 12 hours a day. Sometimes I do it seven days a week and I don't even want to take a break because I love it so much. And then helping out other people. Um, you follow me on Twitter. Um, I've grown a decent size on mm-hmm. Twitter. Helping I'm see, you're people. hustling, man. Bro, for the people who don't know you, like on Twitter, yes. you're fucking hustling. You're I'm replying, starting. you're engaging, you're like doing everything. I'm seeing yeah, you, man. Yeah, I'm seeing you. Yeah, I'm seeing you. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm seeing yeah, you, I'm I'm seeing you working with that. Yeah. And like, also yeah, like... Yeah, started... Uh, yeah, tell me. Yeah, I started a podcast, only did two episodes, but I have a bunch of people that want to come on, and it has like four mm-hmm. or five hundred listeners, so mm-hmm. just stuff like that. Yeah, also like, why don't you start a TikTok account? It's so huge, it's so huge. Gary Vee is like fucking so what? huge. TikTok account. Yeah, 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 he followed me, and uh, that was pretty cool, and then my account sort of blew up after Gary Vee followed me, and then and talked to, get him put in a group with him and some other cool people, it's been a lot of fun, so. No, no, I mean like, why well, don't you start a TikTok account? Oh, to grow my Twitter account? In general, like so, you can get a lot of brand awareness through that, through your TikTok. Yeah, yeah, like TikTok or Twitter? Tell me. TikTok or Twitter? TikTok. Uh, I haven't even grown TikTok that much. I, I have to work on that more. I've maybe posted a handful of videos, mm-hmm. but... um. I, I've seen the amount of traction. I know you're pretty big on TikTok and you've got a bunch of videos that just, you know, maybe one you don't think will blow up and the next thing you know it blows up. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like, yeah, I definitely got, I definitely mm-hmm. got a full point TikTok. <laughs> you may, man, you, I mean, like, you should. I mean, like, you should, but, like, if you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. But I'm telling you, Gary Vee's telling you, I've seen so many guys blow up on TikTok. So many people are doing careers on fucking TikTok. So many people are relying on yeah, TikTok. No. It's fucking huge, man. People are making money just dancing on there. It's crazy. Fuck, man. So. Fuck. Just doing fucking dance and like they put a fucking tag underneath. They make 50k of that out of one fucking post. Okay, but that's Charlie DeMalio. It's crazy. That's fucking Charlie DeMalio. But people are making banks. Tell me what you say you lacked. What you say you, what you, say you lacked. If you have a phone, it's pretty powerful. I mean, you know, you're in another country and we're talking right now about stuff like that. So I truly think if you have a phone and a decent internet connection, the possibilities are endless. So Yeah, man, fuck. I mean, like, we live so many thousand fucking miles away. So yeah. many miles away. I mean, we're talking live right now, so. Yeah, that's, that's fucking cool as fuck. One second. Before asking the next question, let me double check my shit. You're good. Yeah. So, like... Another thing, another thing I want to tell you is like, how do you balance work life 
for example, like, Word, um, but, yeah. because I've been struggling, this is a bit selfish question, but like this can help other people too. I don't know if you're struggling also with their work-life balance. I mean, like, I want to work like every single day, but like, that's not healthy yeah. for my friends or family, because like, if they were integrated with my work, that'd be great, but they're not. I mean, like, I make TikTok videos. If they're making TikTok videos, TikTok videos with me, or we can discuss, like, how to improve, that would be fucking perfect. But it's not. So how do you yeah. work with that? Goodness. Well, you know, the, I, I keep my circle of friends really small, and they know that what I'm trying to do, and they, you know, um, uh, I guess give me the time to work in my business, and they uh, support me and whatnot. But, yeah, the work life balance is something I definitely got to work on. Like I said, though, for me, work, it's not, it's not even, it's not work because I enjoy it so much, you know. I'll be up at 2 a.m. looking at products I can buy and talking with customers or, you know, people like you and just doing stuff like this. But um, definitely for me, um, the cool thing about, like, Amazon is I can turn off my phones and I'll do this maybe once or twice a week, um, turn off all technology, and I can go for a hike with my friends. I can go for a walk or a bike ride, and I can still be, my business can still run without me. So mm. really I have to, you know, I have to remind myself sometimes to not work as much. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to go, you know, have a bike ride or go swim with my friends or go to the lake. Um, so, but my, my friends, they understand what I'm doing. Cause you know, some of them even work with me sometimes. So they get that and they're, they're really supportive. So I guess mm -hmm. the big thing is having people that support you, friends and family and what your choice may be doing. So. In, in every in every interview, I repeat this to people because I think this is the most important thing in life. If you have a very good foundation, if a house has a very good foundation, then the house will be stable and successful. Same as a human. If you have a good foundation, for example, like good family, good family and friends, then yeah. you're, you're successful. They will keep you accountable. They will keep you honest. They will keep you like not being delusional and shit. They will support you and stuff. So keep your family and friends fucking close. I say it, I say it every fucking time because I think it's that important. Also, like some yeah, people, and I would, uh, yeah, yeah, and I would say you know if someone's negative, then you have to cut them out. I've done that with friends before and some family members, and mm -hmm. they don't you don't have to be mean to them, but you know just give them less time. Mm -hmm. You gotta almost be not selfish, but you have to you have to put yourself first sometimes. Definitely, when it comes to if you're gonna be doing something. That's yeah. different from the rest of the world. You know, most people my age are in college and getting jobs, and that's good. But I wasn't built to be that way. So, and I mean, like, for, act. For, yeah. For, first, you have to be like so, selfish and, and then yeah. selfless. Yeah, basically. I mean, I'm. You know, you can still be kind and caring and still put yourself forward and not let yourself get walked on and say, mm -hmm. "Hey, you know, I have told my friends that and they get it." I, Maybe can't see them for a few weeks at a time because I'm working on my business. But then, you know, they'll come over and help me out and we'll have fun. So they get that. So I guess it would just be having uh, good friends and families that understand mm -hmm. your passion. So I'm, ha I'm happy for you, man. I'm happy for you because, like, I'm happy because, like, I know that if you have good family and friends, then, like, you're fucking on your way as fuck. And also, like, I was going to say, ah, oh, yeah, if you're on your plane, they always say to you, like, put your super on first. And then, fuck in in emergency like situations, take care of your of, your, yeah. of yourself first, and then take care of others. If you're not happy yourself first, how can you make other people happy? A, you cannot. That's a great analogy. Yeah. So you know, that's a great analogy. If you're if you're not you know not happy, or no one around you, or mm -hmm. you're gonna be with is gonna be happy. So yeah. And oh, then yeah, I get it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, also like um, I was gonna say. Hmm, I was gonna say about the plane. Fucking forgot. What I was gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Found it, found it, found it, found it. For the workaholics out there, like me, okay, and maybe like you, I don't know. I think you're a workaholic too. Um, for example, like when I take breaks with, with my family and friends, I feel that I'm wasting my time, and I feel like other people feel the same thing. Are you like, do, are you struggling with this? Have you handled it? Have you experienced it before and you fixed it now? What are you thinking about this? What are your thoughts? Like if people think you're wasting your time doing what you're doing or whatever? No, I mean like you're working on your stuff and like when your friends ask you to go out and some stuff and or like your family your family wants to wants you to spend time with them. After you spend time yeah. with them, you feel like you wasted your time. 
and you could have used yeah. that time productively. Any thoughts on this? Man, that's a that's a good question because I feel that sometimes. Even you know, I work a lot, and then the one day I take off, I'm like, man, I could have could have found a new product, or I could have mailed out some stuff, or made another deal, or done an interview, or worked on my podcast. So I mean, that's a big thing, and that my big thing is you know just not living with regrets. So the reason I work so hard now is so I can travel the world, whether that be five, ten, twenty years from now. That's my big passion is traveling and still having my business run. So um, I don't really, I don't live or try to live with regret. So if I go do something, I'm going to do it and have fun, and I'm not, I'm not going to try worrying about, you know, waste of time or whatnot. So, but I, I don't go out a lot. I do it very rarely, so I don't even feel the, oh, I wasted time, because I may only go out, you know, once a month compared to people that go out every Friday, Saturday, so. Damn. Oh, you're working yeah, fucking hard. Means- Damn, I mean, so. yeah, I, I, I tried. Usually, me in my experience, I try to go out like once a week with my friends, like from 6 p.m. until like 11 p.m. But I feel like I don't know, people are feeling this, this the workaholics feel like they're wasting the time. I have to like. Yeah, I still get it. Yeah. I mean, even if, yeah, if I just like, uh, well, tonight I'm gonna go out and. Uh, uh, have a little sporting event, and I haven't done this in a while, but I, I want to go out and I want to stay home and work more, but I know it's good for me to, you know, definitely, I guess, when you own a business and you buy yourself a lot, you know, working or whatever, making content on TikTok or whatever it may be, and you're by yourself a lot, it's good to get out and engage with other humans, so, in person. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think, I think, I think it's good, but, like, our brain is like, work, you don't need this rest. You can use this rest. Yeah. To work more, you can get yeah, your rest definitely. during sleep. You can like eat yeah, with I, your rest. Yeah, I feel that a lot because you know I have like ADHD or whatever. What's Always ADHD? Um, attention deficit disorder. What's well, ADD? But um, it, it basically always has to be doing something. Always, you know, can't like stand still. Always want to be. For me, I use it with my work, so it, it plays a benefit to me. That, you know, I don't want to just be moping around or, you know, I feel like wasting time if I'm not doing something actively. Mm-hmm. So that's a benefit. I use it for my advantage and uh, use it for work. So it helps me out. So yeah. I always have like you know, 20 tabs on my computer open. I have two phones. I have people calling me on one phone. People text me on the other phone. And I'm always multitasking, doing stuff. I have 100 different projects open because that's yeah. just the way my brain works. So. Yeah, I, I I like I like when my brain is at is at its full capacity. I cannot have like one thing at a time and stuff. And I also like observe you like when you when I talk to you, you also like look at the tabs, but you also like listen to me. So you you like multitasking. I see like you can handle that. Yeah, too. yeah. I'm just trying to give you all my attention, and just people keep messaging me, so I have to like scroll up. I forgot to turn it on. So <laughs> yeah, you you can do it now, by the way. Yeah. So. Um, but, and I have another phone right here I was looking because I have something, like I said, that event, but I have like another 20 minutes, so that's fine. Damn, nice. So let's let's go like more into like um, uh, fast-paced questions. Sure, go for it. If, if you could say one thing to the entire world, what would it be? One thing to the entire world. Oh my goodness. Yes, like, sir. Without, if it's not religion-related, um, no regrets. That'd be my big thing. Don't don't live your life. I mean, it's more than one word. Don't live your life for other people. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I'm extremely, you know, like you said, I'm extremely, I'm only 20, even though I look like I'm Moses out here with this beard, but um, <laughs> and, uh, my whole life. I, Bro, look at me. I'm uh, going to the army, like, this Saturday. I'm going to the army. Look at me. Fucking, I, yeah, I, know. I, mean, I, I fucking cut my hair, my, like. My head off three months, like, three months ago, my whole face was bald. I shaved off everything. Really? <laughs> so I get that, but yeah, I'll send you a picture. But 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 I tell the world something, and for me, it just be mm-hmm. uh, don't worry about other people what they mm-hmm. think of you. Mm-hmm. So that'd be my thing. Two, two questions that I have like now about about your your department, like with what you do, is like drop shipping, drop servicing. What are you thinking about that? Are you experiencing that? Is it good for beginners to start? Any thoughts? Um, if I was a beginner, I would stay away from it. Just because there's, if you never were in e-commerce or online business and you don't know how a system works, whether it be with eBay, Amazon, Alibaba, 
um, there's a lot of problems that can go wrong with drop shipping. And I do maybe like out of every sale I do online, maybe 2%, 3% drop ship. Um, I know a few years ago that was a big thing because it was newer and everyone could drop ship and make a bunch of money. Um, I personally like to have the products in front of them, make sure they're good quality. I would use them before I mail them out to my customers. So I guess my big thing would be is just stay away from drop shipping until you have at least a year or two years under your belt selling stuff online, just from my personal experience. But I do know people that are drop shipping and, you know, they're making ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month just doing that. So Yeah, so like you're saying this because like there's a lot of difficulties that come on if you don't have like e-commerce experience, is what you're saying. Yeah, for example, let's say I am selling, um, I don't really have anything here, it's a good book. Let's say I'm selling this book, all right, I have it on eBay, um, but I, I don't own it. I'm drop shipping it from the supplier. Um, Your camera went off? Okay. Bro, th th there's no voice. I can't hear you. You have no voice. Did you mute yourself? I hear nothing. I hear nothing. I hear nothing. Close the call. Close the call. Close the call. I will close the call. Call you back. Where is it? Okay. Oh, yes, yes, perfect, perfect, yeah. All right, so like I was saying, drop shipping. Let's say uh, I have this book on my online store, I don't own it. A week later, someone buys it, and I go to buy it from my supplier to mail it to them, drop ship it. But my supplier sold out, and they don't have it anymore, and I can't find another supplier to fulfill the order. Then I have a person that wants their money back, and they're going to give me a bad review. So there's a lot of there's a lot more stuff that goes into drop shipping than people think. It's not as uh, easy as uh, all these gurus online make it seem, you know, find one product, post it, make a million bucks. It's uh, quite, quite more to it than that. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the way I'm thinking to do it is that I, ha I have, no, have no experience, but, like, I watched some videos and I have a person who did it. I know, actually, I know two persons who did it are my age and they were successful. It's like you find a, a trending product, on like you search, you search like on Instagram, and Facebook, what teenagers use and some stuff. You go find it on Alibaba. You see like the trending topics and some some stuff. You do you do your research and you put on your Shopify account. You put like how many inventory yep. are left, so you keep it. So you you keep them in mind. Yeah, you that can sync it. It's how many inventory now. was that? Yeah, I mean? that's yeah. There's a way you can uh, sync it to you know Shopify, Alibaba, mm -hmm. and um, that way if they run out of stock, it's out of stock in your page. The big thing is with that is the shipping time can take a while, so you have to make sure your customers understand it can take, you know, 7 to 25 days or whatever. But no, that's that's a very good way to do it. I know a bunch of people that are killing it on Shopify and make a lot of money. Another good thing, um, if you don't have a bunch of money to start, it's free, is affiliate marketing. Um, I'm sure Amazon does it internationally. What is I believe. this? So, um, I can post a product link and if someone buys that product i get a small percentage anywhere between two to ten percent so okay. if i sell an item for a hundred dollars and let's say i have a big uh, sports card account on twitter and it has twenty thousand followers and i post a uh, sports card um, protection sleeve the things you put in them like let me see if i have any here we go so so, so, so it's, it's when you build your audience and you sell products yeah, basically, but they're not even mine. So let's say these are selling on Amazon from a seller. You can get an Amazon associate account, they're called. And I can put the link on my page and be like, hey, I use these. They're really good. And every time someone clicks the link and buys that product from the seller, I get a small percentage without even having to own the product. Zero startup costs. It's free. Um, so, yeah, that's a great way to make money if you don't have any money. If you only have, you know, a phone or a laptop, and mm -hmm. that's just finding products, growing an audience. So even let's say you have someone that you know is going to buy something on Amazon. On your affiliate account, you can type in the product they're going to buy and just give them your link. And they're still getting the same product and you get, you know, 5-10% of that sale. So 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. But like, that's why like Gary Vee says to build your audience. That's why it's important to post content because content leads you to people which they have attention and you can do anything with attention. You can like help your sister get a job as an accountant. You can like help it's, them. It's crazy, yeah. You can like you spread said, awareness like, about the uh, black lives. You can do whatever the fuck yeah, you whatever, want to do. Whatever you may be you know, passionate about, um, just start creating stuff around it. For me, it was sports cards and flipping. I made my Twitter account maybe a year ago and it has like 2,300 followers. Um, six, five, six months ago, Gary V liked one of my comments. Um, he put me in a group with him. He followed me. Um, I get to talk with him now every day on Instagram about sports cards and some other really cool people. A friend of mine's in there also. And because he followed me, a bunch of other um, high up, well-known business people followed me. I get to talk with and have on my podcast and get offers for jobs and stuff just because I was posting something that I believed in and mm -hmm. I'm worrying about with other people. And you'd be amazed how many uh, people are passionate about the same thing you are. Like, Fun, I never like, would have thought... This is, yeah. this is purely, purely selfish question. <laughs> I'm sorry for the audience who do, do, doesn't care about Gary Vee, but like, is he actually active in the group chat? Yeah, yeah, he actually, it is, it's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, he'll pop in maybe once a day. Sometimes he'll be in there for an hour at a time. Sometimes he won't be in there for a few days. So yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a cool experience. That what the I've fuck? Gotten. How does he have the time? Yeah, no, yeah that's, that's what I say. I mean, he has the time to be in that. I'm sure he has a bunch of other group chats as well. But it's it's you know it's a real him, so it's it's pretty cool. What the fuck? He he doesn't rest, bro. Like honestly, he, he's the actual robot. Like honestly, he's yeah. a fucking actual robot. Yeah, I mean he had the TikTok thing. He was alive for twelve hours or whatever on TikTok. Um, I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, he went live on TikTok to raise money for Feed in America. He was on there for like twelve hours straight, no no break. So. Bro, honestly, like I tried like doing as hard as Gary Vee does and like I started from the morning when I woke up like immediately, okay? At 2.30 p.m. I just wanted to think of nothing. I wasn't, I wasn't like demotivated or anything, but my brain needed to rest, like do nothing. I laid on my bed for 30 minutes straight. It passed like this. It passed like this. <laughs> nothing, bro. Nothing. How does he do that for yeah. like... I don't know, six days a week. Well, no, yeah, he, I, he lives his life like this. He lives his life. Yeah. <sighs> it's crazy. People, you know, like, they tell that to me. Some friends of mine, they're like, bro, how do you just keep going? And just the energy and if you're passionate about something. You know, he loves sports cards, so it's easy for Damn, him. Just like man. this and me. So, he's I like, mean, like, when I get, yeah. He's I like, get, like, he's like not even five uh, second break. Sorry for interrupting you, interrupt tell me. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like uh, I get a bunch of messages on my Twitter. i sorry to everyone I've replied to. I have hundreds of pending messages, and they're all about selling stuff on Amazon and eBay or sports cards. And I love replying to that, so it doesn't even seem like work. So, you know, I'll reply to them once a day at night. I'll go through an hour. seems like I can never get caught up, but I still enjoy replying back to people helping them. So. Yeah, <laughs> how do you personally balance you replying to people and posting content with your actual work? How do you balance yeah, it that's, based on feelings? That's been a big thing. That's been a really big thing. Um, you know, it, it's been hard. So, like, on my downtime, I'll reply to people or, or do interviews like this and whatnot when I have a little free time when I could be, you know, going out with friends or whatnot. Or I'll just I'll take some time at night before I go to bed. I'll go. I set myself for an hour, and I'll just reply to the most I can. But if I get a message and it's like, I make me money or how do you make money on there's probably a good chance I'm not just gonna reply to <laughs> people like looking for handouts I'll reply to people that you know actually have questions like hey I'm new to this where do I start and that I know are actually gonna put the work in and that aren't just looking for mm -hmm. you know a free handout kind of deal so there's a lot of people that ask me this for hey how do you do it versus hey how can I do it and um Mm -hmm. I, I try mm -hmm. to focus mm -hmm. on people that I can tell you yes, know, really yes. want it. So. Yeah. Also, like, what uh, I mean, like, there's some, there are some people that are asking me about, like, investing and stuff because, like, I invest in stocks and I know, like, pretty good advice in that. And, like, investing in real estate in general and, like, okay, sports cards, I know the basic stuff. I'm not, like, the deepest person in this. 
and those like PCG, yeah. PSA, okay, no, the fucking normal ones. I don't know like who's winning now or some stuff. I just bought a fucking yeah, PSA nine Luca Doncic, and that's it. Fucking, I know like I'm gonna hold it for ten years, and like Luca is gonna be the best. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. metaphorically. Oh yeah, sports cards, it's funny. Um, I made a little sports card podcast, just did a few episodes, but it was just too much for me, and I um, stopped that, but Gary B retreated one of it, and I changed it into my own podcast, just more branding myself, and I still talk about all that stuff on there. Mm -hmm. um, it's on Apple and whatnot. I still got a, I've only done a few episodes because I've been, again, so busy with work. But yeah, sports cards, I would just tell people, um, you know, go find a bunch of accounts on YouTube and Twitter and TikTok and just ask them questions, and you only need one person to respond or ask me questions, and I answer them all the time mm -hmm. about sports cards. So mm -hmm. I've been selling sports cards since I was eight years old. So, Matt, Matt, also like one thing I want to I want to tell you before we get into like providing value to the audience is that I think like when you when you reply to a comment, I think it's much better to retweet it so other people that have the same question can like see it, they can benefit. So it's not like only one people. So like comment and retweet it. Like I don't know, how, I don't know yeah. how, you, how Twitter no, I've works. Done that a few times. So like yeah, more people like see it. Yeah, I should definitely do that. And something else I do is on my Snapchat. I uh, if I get questions from Twitter DMs and I answer, I'll block out their name if they don't want it. But they'll ask me, and I'll reply, and then I will post that on my Snapchat so anyone that may have had that question can see it. Mm -hmm. Another way around is someone you know, someone messages me on Instagram. I'll post that on Twitter or Facebook and just take snippets of different content and post on different social media groups. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, that yeah, way, yeah. You, know, like, you know how to do that. Yeah, so. like today I talked to someone about, like he wanted to know about stocks, stock investing, and he, he was on like an Instagram. Like I helped him, like no problem. And then I told like, is it okay for me to screenshot it? So I can then like post it on like my social media platform so other people can benefit, like sure, okay. And then like I helped one people, I helped one people, I like since other people may have this question, like other people can benefit. I like this, this can help people in general. It like it's not like only one people. So it's like squeezing the most out of the content. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's, so I do that all the time. let's go now like into more rapid fire questions. Let's go. Sure, go for it. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? The rudest animal, geez. I that's a good question. Um, I would think. Oh man, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's a good. That's a good question. What would be the rudest animal? I, I actually have no idea. I'm trying to think. You want help? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Snake. Snake. Yeah, or or, or a fucking cat. Yeah, yeah, I do. Cats can be rude. I've had a head. <laughs> yeah, they just sort of. That would be the rudest one, buttons. I think. Yeah. <laughs> next, next one. In one sentence, how would you sum up the internet? Oh, possi endless possibilities. How many chickens would oh. it take to kill an elephant? Say a hundred. Hundred. Any thoughts on climate change? World's always been changing since the beginning of time. Okay. But like, man, like, it's true that we will, that it's changing through cycles. We're just speeding it up because we're fucking, we're fucking it up. We're just speeding the process much more than it should. We're supposed to like uh, get warmer over time, but it's getting, we're like speeding it, the, speeding up the process. Yeah, that's a that's a whole on debate question. That'd be like a two hour interview. But I think, you know, it's always been it's always been going on and just mm -hmm. do your part and do what you believe in. You can't control other people, so it's gotta take the good with the bad. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing a guest has done at your house? Oh my gosh. Weirdest thing. I've had some uh, interesting friends over here. Pff, goodness. <laughs> uh Was it sex? Oh, no, no, um, probably shoot fireworks at someone. I did that, my guess. But, yeah, I had a friend over, and he shot another friend with a firework and chased him around. So that was pretty weird, but... What the fuck? I uh, jumped in, uh, jumped in our little pond, so... <laughs> Whoa. What would be the worst thing for the government to make illegal? 
So, a banning for me, it would worse than, oh my goodness, banning the internet. <laughs> yes, man, so, I agree with that so Amazon. much. Or Amazon. What? So, or if they banned Amazon. Yeah, but I don't big. think they will. I don't really think so. I don't think so either, but that'd be the worst. <laughs> yeah, man, man who, who do you think is going to win? Because like now Amazon started like Amazon Prime to compete with Netflix. Who do you think is going to win? Should it's going to... Is Netflix gonna keep winning or like Amazon Prime is gonna come up? What do you think? Your like prediction? With, the, with the stock price? Yeah, like I mean, uh, with the numbers, with like being more popular and stuff. Well, I think I think Amazon is gonna basically rule the world, so I gotta go to Amazon. Just, I mean, Amazon has their own video service and everything. Netflix only has a video service, so. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, maybe Netflix will offer products soon like tvs and laptops and stuff so you never know yeah th- this will be interesting um how much do you think about your legacy oh, like what i what i want to be remembered for yes sir um i don't think about it that much i just do myself and then whatever people want to remember me mm-hmm. you know remember for. hopefully it's for who i am and helping others out but i just enjoy working and helping other people and that's how i stick to my life so what are you thinking about lately? Um, lately, what I've been thinking about is how I can prepare for Christmas time and holiday holiday shopping. So, <laughs> uh-huh. um, trying yeah. to get ready, even though it's several months away. You have to prepare when you're a seller. So right now, it's been buying up toys and stuff that people will want around Christmas time. So mm-hmm. that's smart. That's smart. What's stopping people from being happy? <sighs> oh, caring about other people, what they think. <laughs> uh, yeah. listening to other people's opinions best and worst advice you have been given best advice you have been given uh, geez, best advice I've been given probably just to not care what other people think you know Gary Vee talks about that so I guess I was given that worst advice I've been given would be to someone said I had to go to college at an old job I worked um, even if I was uh, successful that I still needed to go to college just so other people thought I was smart. I was actually told that, so <laughs> yeah, that's probably the worst. You've not mm-hmm. listened to it mm-hmm. for you, yeah. Uh, what's the most stupidest, funniest, or cringiest thing someone did that that I've been a part of that someone's done? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like you can't you could have seen someone done something like okay. ridiculous, or well, you can't have done it. Goodness, I've done a lot of stupid stuff too. Um, I saw someone jump in uh, like a waterfall at the mall before with no shirt on. So that's that's near the top, probably. Or Lol. He just took off his shirt. So probably for like TikTok, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do that too. What's your biggest fear? <laughs> the biggest fear. Oof. Uh, don't want to die with regrets. Would probably be the biggest fear. So I'm not thinking, you know, hey, I could have done that or whatnot. So I want to. What what what, what made you come to that path that you're thinking you're thinking more about regret? Oh goodness, just you know, I worked in a nursing home was actually my first job, and seeing all the older people in there and they had a lot of regrets and talking with them and wishing they would tell me stuff they wish they did. So I don't wanna don't wanna Fuck, be like man. that. I guess. Fuck. I wanna just be happy and do what I like. So. Damn, damn. But but yeah. like at the moment it was kind of sad, but like. I think it gave you the fucking power. It gave you so much power. Yeah. And like for me, I was oh, lucky it was, to. It was, it was, for, yeah. for me, I was lucky to to have it, to like see my grandparents experience regret, and it scares the fuck out of me. Like people don't realize it because like they haven't taken the time to like look at the grandparents or like look at the, at other old people. The fucking regret in the fucking. Yeah, don't want regret. So. Yeah, I think like people. People like keep, keep, one of the things that people do is like, they keep holding that hate into them. Maybe they're like fought with someone and they haven't said sorry or like they haven't like need to reach out to someone that they need to say sorry or they need to say like, I love you, like, how are you doing or just in general and they don't reach out. They just don't. Yeah. And like, oh, yeah, I agree with that. yeah, just do that more now. And like I do set, I set daily remem- reminders to like remind my family and friends that how they're doing and stuff that people should, should start doing this more I think 
No, I, I definitely agree. I have about like uh, 10 minutes left, so fire away your most important questions. Yeah, yeah, let, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, let's, let's do some more like entertaining questions now, more entertaining than before. Okay. Is water wet? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes? Yeah, sure. That, does a straw have one or two holes? It does what? Does a straw have one or two holes? Oh, I don't know, I'll go one. <laughs> Can you lick your elbow? Uh, no. Try now. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to force you. Who do you like more, your mom or your dad? Uh, both the same. Have you committed a crime before? <laughs> Probably, yeah. Do you want to share it with us, or you will you go to fucking oh, jail? I'm sure I have. Let me think. Uh, yeah, I've done speed. Yeah, so there's a crime. <laughs> what? You, you don't want to share it? Yes, yeah, speeding ticket, driving too fast. Oh, so. oh, oh, okay. I have a few of those. <laughs> but, by the way, by the way, if I say on the, if I say like online that I stole something when I was in primary school, am I going to go to jail? Nah, I think so. <laughs> okay. So I'm safe to say it, right? Yeah, I mean, you just did, so. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah, I just did. I mean, I, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> is cereal a soup? Cereal soup? That's a, hmm, I, yeah, I, I'd say what? I mean, yeah, I guess so. I, if it has milk, if it has milk, it's a soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. eat cereal, it has milk. Milk. Yes, it has milk. Okay. Do you pour the milk or the cornflakes first? Oh my goodness, I pour the cereal first. I'm not crazy. Eesh. <laughs> um, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? Um, one superpower, time travel. Sick. If you could do anything for a day, what would you do? If you had like all the money, all the power, all the influences, what are you going to do? If ever what I want to do, if I did, like money and no resources mattered, um, probably just give random people money all day. <laughs> yeah. Or buy them whatever they want to. So yeah. see their expression. Yeah, that, that would be great. Man, like the happiness they get into the face is like so good. Exactly. So man, thank you for coming on. We finished the podcast. Hope you have yeah. an amazing day, man. Hope you're doing hope you do like well. Hope you like hope you remain happy and some stuff. And like let, let's do a thumbnail. What should be the thumbnail? I think I'm gonna title the video like watch this video if you're an investor. So like whatever you want, man. I'm fuck, I don't have money next up. to me. Do you have money next to you? Whatever, whatever you want. Man, man, man do you have no. money next to you? Like I don't know, fifty what? euros, hundred euros, something. No, uh, no, no money next to me. It's in my bank right now. I don't, I don't have any cash on me. <laughs> fuck. Okay, what should be the thumbnail? I don't have money. What? Do I have money. I have money. I have ten cents. Fucked. Let's do a thumbnail, like. Okay, let's let's both look at the camera and say like, look at this video, <laughs> or some shit. Okay, let's do it. All right, you're just gonna edit it out or whatever. No, you're just gonna like. There's gonna be a thumbnail. You know, you know what's a thumbnail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Just watch this video. No, you're just gonna. It's gonna, the thumbnail is like a photo. You pull like oh, yeah, the outside the video. Then, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. And also right. like do an outro. Do it. Say whatever you want to say. Like. Whatever the right, fuck, man. man. Yeah, sure. yeah, you know, I'm happy. You know, I've been watching you on Twitter for, you know, I think a few months, actually. And I've seen your TikTok grow. And from someone that's, you know, not from America, I'm still making, you know, they still have Wi-Fi, still have a phone. You're really making a name for yourself. And this, you mm -hmm. know, with your audience, it's pretty cool. And thanks for having me on, you know. It's been a lot of fun talking and about random stuff, uh, you know. Random weird questions from what crimes have I committed to? You know how I started selling. So no, I had a lot of fun though. Was, uh, thanks for having me on though. It, it really was a lot of fun. So thanks, man. Hope you we uh, bro. I wish you so much like so much happiness and stuff. But I'm sure you keep experiencing this because like you have good family and friends. And like uh, I'm just telling you, if you have like good family and friends, I'm telling everyone that you're on your way to fucking success. You have the mindset right. You're doing what you love. Just the end, bro. Just keep going. Awesome, man. Bro, Thank if you need anything you. with like stocks, I'm here. Like with stocks, I'm, I'm like experienced. 
and I'll have the results. So like if anything, just reach out to me. But, gotcha, man. but like long, long term though, not short term. Short term, I'm not into like Bitcoin or like stock, tra tra stock trading and stuff. I'm not into that. So don't ask me that type That's of question. Patience, long term, gotta have patience with anything. So yeah. Okay, man. All right, man. Have a Take great care. day or night. Peace or out, man. Peace. See you.